hello everybody, welcome to Coffee Vlog, the show where I get on a comedian and we speak about comedy, movies and many other things. Today we have Matt Smith. Hi, Matt Smith and um, it's Coffee Vlog with no well, coffee. Yep. So, um, Here we go. It's, uh, on there. It's, the, it's the cold coffee. Uh, you, yeah. Do you hate cold coffee? I prefer cold coffee. Okay. Anything. It's, uh, it's a... I don't know who this company is, but I keep on buying different ones every single time. Always a different coffee? Yep. I've never had this one. It's a mocha though, that's a chocolate one, right? Ah, yeah. It's the only one on the shelf. So Dangerously like, delicious mix. Like, I'll get that. <laughs> you have to um, just review the, you have to rate the coffee as well. You, you, can, if, you can rate if you want. Last one we had was... It smells... Um, I gave someone one a while back that was meant to be orange soda right, and coffee yeah. and they drank it and didn't want to drink it for the rest of the thing. <laughs> so I just kept on buying different ones. I was like, you can't let people try them, try them out. Can't have the same coffee every show, can you? No, so, so this is a... On, on the <laughs> smell, it smells... Uh, you're just getting more of the mocha than the, than the, than the coffee bit in it, but uh, I'm sure it's dairy-free, which is good for my bowels. So. <laughs> yeah, it's... Um, is that awesome? It's not the best one, is it? <laughs> it's just yeah. Just it tastes like a milkshake with a bit of a little bit of. Uh, Maybe they shouldn't have taken that twenty-five percent sugar out. So. Uh, always taking the sugar out. Introduce yourself, Matt. Right. Hi, Matt Smith um, from the Coffee Blog and <laughs> <laughs> stand-up comedian, uh, member of the UK's premier acoustic metal comedy duo Shitstorm. Um, I, Drinker, eater of foods. Uh, yeah, that's 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 me. That's all I've got going on. How long have you been doing doing the comedy for? Um, well, I guess about technically like six years now. Um, but you know, I had a I, I tried tried in my early twenties. I had did about four gigs, <laughs> and um, was like never doing that again. And then did it again. So the six years. You can't, can't count it. Do you still do you still enjoy enjoy doing it? <laughs> <laughs> I yeah yeah love it. Um, yeah, of course. That's why that's why I still do it. That's why I still because you can't. I don't be. I mean, there is a level of insanity doing it. Yeah. Anyway, but, you know, you gotta. Yeah, I, I think I like it more than I hate it. Like <laughs> <laughs> either. Yeah, like um, like there's some some really shit. Times <laughs> definitely. You do some shit gigs, and the gig might not be shit, but you might be shit on it. And you do some. No, you got to blame the audience every time. <laughs> and you can do shit gigs, <laughs> actual shit gigs, but you do well on it, and you're like, I had a really good time there, and everyone's like, No, it's a shit gig. So <laughs> <laughs> like, well, when I did it, um, no, but I, I mainly, I mainly enjoy, enjoy it, and um, there's something, something to sort of keep doing, isn't it? It's like, uh, yeah, it's like the Groundhog Day. <laughs> Just comedy Groundhog Day. Yeah, yeah. It's the same shit every fucking day, every <laughs> year. Uh, so now I just I feel like I can't get out of it. If you, even if I wanted to, I'd wake up and then have to do it again. <laughs> how, how often do you do it? Uh, I don't know, four or five times a week. Well, not that much compared to <laughs> some people, and a lot compared to others, but... Um, yeah, just yeah. I, I would do it more, but no, one, no one wants me. <laughs> <laughs> what, what would you say? What would you say your style is? Um, ah, uh, it's yeah. I always get stumped on the style. Um, I would say it's uh, it's it's observations uh, told in a absurd way <laughs> about. Um, mundane things in my life, um, <laughs> uh, and yeah, because you know, mundane life you have to try and make things sound interesting. But it's, it's, I'd say it's mainly mainly fact based. <laughs> it's a lot of um, a lot of facts about dogs mainly. <laughs> a lot of big big educational mainly. I think you got a bit about getting a guard guard dog. I mean, I've got that bit. I've got a, a, a bit about. I've got like a 10, 15 minute routine about Afghan hounds, uh, which, you know, um, was, was one of my longer bits. <laughs> um, 
yeah, most of my jokes are at, at least five minutes a joke. So it's quite quite long bits. I think we, um, we when we did a Christmas gig together, you just had a driving home for Christmas bit that was just, mm. just the lyrics, and then <laughs> I don't, that I don't, I, that so <laughs> and then the cumin bit. That's what I did. Um, the, the cumin, the cumin bit was especially for Christmas as well. <laughs> so you've never done. I've done it since. Um, I, I might bring it out next Christmas, you know, like the... Just the Christmas material. Dust it off. <laughs> like, the driving home for Christmas bit wasn't a bit. I just, um, I panicked. I didn't think I had enough Christmas material. So coming onto the stage, I thought I'd use that entire time to sing the in, driving home for Christmas in its entirety. I didn't know I was going to do it until my name was called. <laughs> so, and I just thought... So what do you do? Is that... <laughs> what you do with some gigs sometimes, sort of just improvise before, you, or is how much is planned that you do? Um, so uh, it varies from gig to gig. If I'm if I'm feeling uh, down, <laughs> if I'm feeling really down, um, pretty much everything will mainly be um, things that I've sort of done. I'm working on. <laughs> if I'm in a good good mood, <laughs> I'd, like. You know, ninety percent of it can be sort of unscripted, as I say, not but yeah, unplanned. But I'd like, um, I do sporadic gigs. Like I run <laughs> gigs sporadically. Like uh, I, I run a gig solely um, to make up stand up. Like so, um, you know, people get uh, you'll get the audience to write down let, like words and phrases and like all sorts of things and then you have to do just make up a set like it like it's your set and do, you put those sentences in use those subjects words but yeah I, I kind of like you know things being off the cuff is that what you prefer doing or do you prefer doing the plant um i like writing so i like and i like i like forming bits and making them as good as they can be and but they're always they're always sort of fluid as well like I don't think I, um, the, the bit would have the same kind of flow and the same sort of structure and go to the same places, but um, you know, sometimes sometimes it can, you know, double in length a bit <laughs> or, or like half in length, just depending on depending on my mood really. It's very very mood faced <laughs> comedian. So um, yeah, you know, it's hard to hard to pinpoint your style. Yeah. There's a lot going on. Shitstorm's pretty easy. It's um, it's 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 musical comedy without the music or the comedy. You still bring on a you still still bring on a ukulele, don't you? No, I bring on a full size. That's what you used to bring on a ukulele. On. No, no. I get a sing. I bring on. I'm getting mixed up. I bring a full size flying V acoustic, and um, you, you've seen Shitstorm. Yeah, right? that's one of the first gigs. <laughs> yeah, so. I did Shitstorm where I'm seeing it. Right. And I got introduced on stage as uh, I once saw this guy eat two meat full marijuanas in 30 seconds. <laughs> he had been stalking you for a while, so I was very impressed. <laughs> um, yeah, that's easier to explain, but I don't know. Um, I'm trying, I'm trying. You're doing that a lot more now, aren't you, Shitstorm? I've done it twice this year, so yeah, a lot more than usual. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's it's like I'm, I do it with another comedian, Gary G. Knightley. Hi, Gary. Probably not watching. Probably <laughs> my, my um, bit. <laughs> so you know, we, it, it it started <laughs> because we ran a gig in Stevenage when we were very new, and um, like, well, we don't have enough material to do this all the time, so we had to make up some other things to do. <laughs> so we drunkenly came up with the greatest idea we've ever had um, and it's kind of <laughs> it's, we, we were in the musical comedy awards finals and we're on the way to be britain's next best bingo callers yeah, what, what, so is it just is it just both for you is call call out the bingo numbers so um the, the competition aspect yeah like um our bit is we call out the bingo numbers and then give the people the prizes and we are basically the bingo caller <laughs> is it in like a proper it's in an bingo? actual bingo hall they've oh, got okay. a big ball machine big machine full of balls um, yeah it's a great great place it's um, got the do the, these go out pretty quickly oh, got, yeah, yeah got the semi-final on the 16th at Dabba's Bingo yeah, that, <laughs> come that, along that'll be out before get on the shitstorm table 
Um, <laughs> is there other people doing the quantum yeah. numbers on the same time as well? Or no, no. Just... So um, we take it in turns. There's like four games of bingo, and um, every act does a round of bingo. Oh, okay. And then like the people there get to get four chances to win the bingo. <laughs> so um, yeah, so uh, yeah, I love doing love doing stuff. Just cool. sounds like you're having lots of fun with. Yeah, it's that, it's that old kill yourself, isn't it? It's the it's the, the two things. <laughs> yeah, the things are comedy. <laughs> it's like it's like you've got a, if you book a lot of stuff in, you then have to do that thing if it's booked in. So you just have, you have to book stuff up in advance. So you know you can't. You, you always know that's yeah, that's so, coming. Well, that's coming. I can't. You know, I can't just stay in bed all week because I've got I've got things that. And it's like it's it's I'm, I get more anxious cancelling things than oh, I do yeah. turning up. <laughs> so <it's> just... definitely. <laughs> so it helps. Yeah. Go do the the same. We'll go from comedy to to movies now. Right. Right. Uh, what's your top top three movies? <coughs> top three movies. Um, top three movies change every time somebody asks me the top three movies. <laughs> uh, that's, right. Um, uh, currently. Like I, I love Kurt Russell. <laughs> I like he's the perfect man. If I could be anyone, it would be Kurt Russell. Um, I'm pretty sure he's never gonna have like a Me Too scare or anything. Um, he's, he's just the sexiest man on the planet. He has the greatest hair. Uh, he he is he is as funny as he is charming. <laughs> um, he is, is the reason I watched a Christmas movie last year. Oh, God. <laughs> I think that was the, yeah, that was the only reason I watched that. Yeah. As well. Um, so like, I, my favorite film like uh, is what that comes to my mind a lot of the time is um, is Escape from New York. <laughs> it's love it. Yep, love it. Um, and, and sometimes that will swing to the thing. <laughs> They take, they kind of swing over, but this is the, this is just one of them. But they kind of kind of go back and forth sometimes. But um, so yeah, Kurt Russell and just basically anything he's ever done is as one movie just put on <laughs> at the same time. Um, and I like, I'm very much into sort of horror movies. Yeah, and um, <laughs> like, <laughs> uh. uh when I was a kid, <laughs> um, Texas Chainsaw Massacre used to be banned in um, in the UK. Like when I was, when I was, was a banned, yeah, it was banned for, for quite a while. Yeah, for okay. a few, few years. I yeah, thought. and um, while it was banned uh, at school, I used to sell VHS knockoffs of it when I was like twelve. <laughs> That's kind of in it. But um, a, a film that really, really, uh, I was really into for a long time, and that I would get like. People would come around and I'd be like, "We have to watch it." It was um, Castle Freak. I don't know if you know Castle Freak. I'm trying to think what actor that's got. It's got. Has it got the guy from Reanimator in it? Um, Jeff. Oh, I forgot his name. It Jeffrey something, but could have. I can't remember if it's him. I don't think it is. It was very like. Never really saw many people come up again. <laughs> it was, um, you know, it's based on a Lovecraft yeah, short. Yeah, yeah. But I, 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 you know, I was a. It, it had everything. It had like a, a creepy ass house. It had um, like this fucking basement monster <laughs> that was <laughs> uh, just yeah. I just um, just loved Castle Freak for some reason. And no, like no, it was one of the no one really knew it. Yeah. So you know, and, and I was like, oh, yeah, you could love. The Nightmare on Elm Streets, or the Halloweens, or the you know the Ch Chainsaw Massacres, or House. I was big, big into all house, of that. Yeah, House is great. House. They just get more ridiculous as they go on. Yeah, but I'd go if I go it. Just Castle Freak had it for me when I was. I, I think I watched it at the right time to, and you know there was the the boob bite scene and the <laughs> <laughs> just I just remembered that for, for forever. Yeah, they're, they're remaking it now. Are you fucking kidding me? Uh, Castle Freak's getting a remake. It isn't, is it? Are you, yeah. Are you joking? No, not even joking. What? I forgot who's doing it, but I remember going that through the best some horror <laughs> directors' films recently, and that was in there for next year. Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah. Okay, that's exciting. 
So I don't, hopefully they won't just go with <laughs> terrible CGI or something. But yeah, keep it, keep keep the freak real. <laughs> <laughs> they still allowed to call him call, call him a freak. <laughs> I think so. Castle That's man. Cool. <laughs> yeah, one of the, one of the same one of the same ring to it. It's a man down there. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you, um, yeah, so so let's go. Escape from New York, Castle Freak, and something. Um, always love True Romance, the movie uh, written by Tarantino, but um, you know it can be watched in a row because he didn't make it <laughs> you know you see the end at the end <laughs> so, um no I'm a big fan of that as well um it's yeah it's got a bit bit of everything bit of romance bit of bit of comedy bit of bit of um bit of bit of thrilling in there bit of a lot of killing that, great uh they ruined the ending didn't they ruined the ending to the to the book <laughs> Well, that's what they always do. Yeah. They? they never, never stick to the book. And if it's Quentin Tarantino writing it, he always likes to <laughs> completely change it. Yeah, I got. Um, I remember when True Romance came out on VHS. They had a, this box set VHS, and it had like a T-shirt in it. And it had the the video, and um, and I, I must have been was it ten, eleven, about eleven, and I. Really wanted it. I already had Reservoir Dogs. <laughs> and, my, and my name was like, what do you want for Christmas? And I was like, that box set of True Romance. <laughs> and she was like, okay. And then there was Choices Video. I don't think they, they exist. I think they went under before Blockbuster. <laughs> Choices Video. She goes up to the guy. He goes, me standing next to her. I was, um, she goes, oh, uh, it's True Romance. Is that for kids? <laughs> I was like, no, Dad, it's not for kids. <laughs> so that's why I want it. <laughs> So did you not? Did you not get it? Oh, I did get it. <laughs> yeah, but like she was just wondering, she was asking the question. Maybe she wouldn't have got it if it was for kids. <laughs> she was like, no, you're not having a kids kids movie. <laughs> she was um, a great, great lady. Her favorite favorite actor of all time was Steven Seagal. And um, one of the best actors. Every, uh, the best. <laughs> Plays himself in every single movie now. <laughs> she had a big crush on him. Didn't get to see what he turned out to be. But <laughs> <laughs> I think the last movie I saw him in was. Uh, Machete. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Probably don't go further than that. Yeah, yeah. I know. We just started making a lot of terrible <laughs> straight to DVD movies after that. <laughs> straight to the bin. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, movie, movies. Uh, I don't know. I see, you've got a lot of movies, but yeah, um, yeah. I used to have. I used to have thousands and thousands of DVD movies. <laughs> I just, um, but like when when I was like really young, I my. Um, we had like um, me, and my mum, my brother. We'd have like a, every month. We'd have like a turn to pick a movie, like for like rent a new movie, watch that as a as a family. <laughs> that was like you know family time. <laughs> once a month, we watch a movie. My brother would get like the new. He get like the um, Naked Gun. You know the new <laughs> new new thing that was just out or whatever. Everyone everyone wanted to see that. Um, my mum would get you know for whatever my brother wanted and. Um, I would go to the bargain bin and buy whatever had the, like, just something that I like the cover on. <laughs> but the, but my argument was like, but this is the same price as the rental, so like, we, I could keep this. This is, like, I'd get nails with Dennis Hopper and the original <laughs> Dolph Lundgren Punisher and stuff. And I was like, <laughs> seven years old, just getting like, well, ended, ended up once with Nightmare, uh, Nightmare on Elm Street, the series. Cause, oh, yeah. So I didn't know, you know, I didn't, I was like, ah, this is, this is not the it's same. Still got, it's still got Robin England. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It hasn't, yeah. Kind of introduces it like it's the Tales from the Crypt, Crypt Keeper, <laughs> which um, it, it was fucking great, but, you know, nobody else wanted to watch it. But <laughs> I was just like, I was just, yeah, like, that's the same price as a rental. It makes a lot more sense financially. We get to keep this. But now no one keeps anything, do they? Is that what your store was called then, Choices? Uh, the one in, so we had a Choices and a Blockbuster, but um, Choices guy would like, sell me whatever I wanted at a young age. <laughs> uh, Blockbuster were not as kind. No. So, um, so yeah, that, yeah, Choices guy, like, sold me Serpico, he was like, I was very, very young when I bought Serpico. He was like, oh, this is really good. He like, <laughs> I was like, yes, I love Al Pacino now. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah, film, films, films are always, films are always there. Yeah. 
like um, yeah, main, mainly into the horrors. Yeah, that's my favourite favourite yeah. genre as well. Yeah, fuck comedy. <laughs> <laughs> Still, I, I don't know. This, this, this with comedies now. There's some that are co- cool comedies, but then you go and watch them, and I'm like, just, I'm not laughing. Oh, this right. what's, yeah. What's, yeah. What's happened? Yeah. There's, there's nothing. Been... There's nothing like what, what, what Naked Gun. Oh no, but, Naked Gun was incredible. Naked Gun and Airplane were the only two yeah. good comedy movies. And then <laughs> the people that made them went on to do uh, the scary movie stuff, mm, which was. Neither scary nor should <laughs> have been a movie. So <laughs> made five of those. Five. Yeah. I saw last one I saw was the one with the guy with the hands. <laughs> oh yeah, that one. Yeah, that's, that's, I think they've all had guys with hands in them. But that was number two. Right. Yeah. That's yeah. all that. I stopped. Stopped, stopped at two. After that, yeah. yeah. That's yeah. the one you should need to stop on three. It's just <laughs> Leslie. Uh, it's Leslie Nelson, isn't it? Yeah. He. he Leslie Nelson's in it. He appears in three. Oh. And. You know, what are you what are you doing? Here? I think that was one of the, the thing is that's one of the last movies he was in, I think, as well. So <laughs> that's just very sad for it that to the last movie. He should have be been in. Spy Hard. <laughs> should have been the last one. <laughs> well, I tried to watch Spy Hard again recently. Don't it's not it's not dated well and it wasn't well, it was never at the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> I remember as a kid I was like, Oh this is this is alright. Yeah. And then yeah, watching yeah. it and you're like, yeah. none of this is funny. No. No. Maybe that's the problem. You're just too old for comedy now. Comedy movies, that's why you just can't find them funny None anymore. Of them. Yeah, but kids might be in there laughing. You never know. It's one of the Marvel films are comedies now, aren't they? Yeah, they're yeah. throwing all the jokes every now and again. You think someone's got hit on the head with something <laughs> and then someone runs in and has to do a joke quickly. Did you, um, I've not seen the new, um, the new one. End, end game. End game. Yeah. Uh, but I did see the thing about Thor in a fat suit. But the fat suit pretty much was exactly my body. <laughs> so, so they could have got, got you for. Well, they could, I had the, I got the, he had a beard as well. Yeah. Didn't it? I basically, but but he, they were like, oh, how is it like being in a fat? It was like, oh, you know, I went up, up to the catering, and they were like, none, none for you, fat boy. I was like, what? You're exactly my size. I've never been turned away for food at a catering. What is, what is this? Yeah. So you know, Thor can fuck off. <laughs> Thor, Thor in a in a fat suit is it's just because he drink he's they find him and he's just drinking loads of beer yeah, yeah, yeah. playing computer games and yeah I feel they um, basically stole that from um, Sunny in Philadelphia in a way was, have you seen that oh what when Mac gets Fat Mac but that yeah. wasn't a fat suit he no that was he actually put he, on all the weight for for that so <laughs> and he didn't tell him he was gonna do it and he just turned up fat oh yeah and, they were, <laughs> <laughs> and then now in the new season it's like oh. I'm, yeah, God, <laughs> muscly now. So, um, I think they stole that from Fat Mac, <laughs> and the the fat shaming, even in the um, interviews and stuff, is just insane. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. I I know there was a lot of articles about people being like, the film's good, but why did we need to have Thor in a? I know. I get a fat so I get that, but like, he wasn't that fat. <laughs> it is just yeah. It's like a, it's like he's a, got a bit of like a, a little bit of a belly. Yeah. That's it. And it was, you can just tell it's a little. It looks yeah. like someone's just a bit bloated. Yeah, exactly. He just it. He, he let himself go. Definitely, <laughs> definitely let himself go. But um, and he has a he has more of a beard and wears sunglasses. Yeah. So if anything, he's, he's you know he's sexier than other Thor. <laughs> but they have to do it that when he puts on they have to they all their little suits later on. Yeah. And here's one he can't zip it up the full way. You uh, tell. Yeah, it's him yeah. in it. So yeah, I'm gonna watch it. You're not gonna watch. <laughs> Have you watched any other um, the others? Uh, yeah, I've seen. I saw the I saw the one before that, the yeah. In- Infinity War. War. Infinity War, yeah. yeah. I saw that one. Um, saw a couple of the other ones. I saw you know X Men. Saw the X Men. <laughs> <laughs> Dead Daredevil. Saw Daredevil. Ben Affleck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you're going back to two thousand and one. Yeah, yeah. So it's seen, seen all of those. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see the sequel, Electra. Um, yeah, I saw Electra, um, Daredevil, <laughs> Iron Man 1, that was great, that was, like, the soundtrack was pretty good. Um, <laughs> the other Iron Mans aren't, they're alright. They're not good. Is Threes. It? Are they all John Favreau? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, you know, he was pretty good. I think Three is directed by Shane Black, he was one of the writers on Predator. Right, okay. Yeah. The original Predator. Yeah, yeah. But now he he was 
He directed the new The Predator. Right. If that, you saw. That was terrible. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and Not the, I was like, I saw it was an 18, I thought, oh, I'm excited, they've still made it an 18, you're going to cinema and see it. They just put the 18 tag to get yeah. people like you excited. Yeah, yeah. and I was like, no, nope, this is, oh, he rips off someone's face at one yeah. point, that's it. The Rodriguez one was better than that. Yeah, that was, that was, had mm. fun moments, and they brought in the whole new little monster, the little monsters on the island yeah. that you hadn't seen before. Yeah, didn't, didn't see the Captain Marvel. Didn't see it. <laughs> yeah, I, I thought it was fun. It was fun. Yeah. Probably. Do you see Ant Man and the Wasp? Um Is that <laughs> It's the one where he gets really small. Yeah, and then they made this then they made the sequel to it where he has his the other person with him who gets really small as well. And then and she's got wings. But then they got ants, they get really big. Yeah, yeah. But they're not in a suit. So how does that work? There's an ant plays the drums in the... Yeah, yeah, but the ant's not in like an ant-man suit. No. Nah. Yeah, but I thought they have to be in a suit to get small just, and big. Just play the drums. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Or I think it is. What happens is that... I think the thing that happens is I think they can blow them up, right. then take the stuff off of them, and they still stay big. Uh, I, think that's, I think that's how it works. That makes sense. Yeah. Glad, <laughs> glad, they, <laughs> glad they put that in. <laughs> Move on from the... The movies to the music now. Yeah. Uh, what music are you in? What music what, what's, you your, what's your favourite band? Uh, um, what does this change? As tough, well? tough one. <laughs> Changes. <laughs> <laughs> I like, like, favourite all time band from, you know, from like, um, I don't know, something that's kind of stuck it was uh, Metallica. And, you know, they. they They've been around as long as I have. <laughs> Started in the same year. Uh, um, yeah, I've, I've sort of loved them and followed them throughout their entire 36 years. And I go and see them every time they play. Do you still like the new albums as well? Um, yes. So I'm more into them now, like, to watch them live. Yeah. They're, yeah. like, still the, the greatest sort of, like, like, playing stadiums, they're, like, you know, make stadiums feel like a intimate venue, and when most other bands are playing, make life boring if you're like not right. At the front. So it's like, ah, oh, fuck this. But they're, they're still they're still pulling it out live. Um, but yeah, stuff I listen to, I, I rarely listen to them <laughs> like <laughs> like on CD anymore. Like I, I rarely like just drive and listen to Metallica albums. Or but I'd say, I'd say they're probably my favourite band but um bands i'd listen to more would be sort of clutch i don't know if you know yeah, yeah. clutch and they've got better their albums have got better through time and they've got better live and they've, they've been around for forever and they're just they're, they're kind of hitting a stride now where they they're sort of getting big now <laughs> but they're, at, they're and they keep actually releasing decent really decent albums that keep getting better as well and um but I think I think my sort of yeah, if I had to my favourite band. Um and they're over now, so I, there's not gonna be a chance to unless they form again. Um but would be the Dillinger Escape Plan. Um I found them they had Mike Patton in them yeah. for a bit from Faith No More. And uh, they they were just out and out the greatest live band ever. And I would always listen to them on you know cd or in the car or walking or just you know well, they got um they got an album for every occasion <laughs> uh I'd, I'd, yeah so they're probably and because they split up a couple of years ago well, they just came to an end was like no more of that and um so you know there's kind of a bookend to it so you'll be like well that's yeah <laughs> that there is my favorite Sort of grouping of a band. That's um, yeah. You don't think there'll be one of those bands that will say they've split up and then t three years later <laughs> get back together? Well, I said there was a. I went to their last three gigs. They did. They did three in a row in New York, and um, and they were like the the last shows. They called them the last shows, and uh, they did the last. They were quite a lot on the last tour. Um, they had three different shows as well. Like uh, they, they played three very different sets and had like guests, different guests every day. So it, was, it wasn't like I 
I went to the same thing three times in a row. Yeah. <laughs> it was like three days in a row. Um, I would love it if they came back. I wouldn't be upset about <laughs> anything. Yeah, it was like, I, I, I would very much, very much want that to happen. <laughs> uh, I don't, I don't think they will be, but maybe for like one-offs and stuff, yeah, yeah. they might. Um, I can't imagine they would get back and tour and do all that kind of stuff again. But yeah, if they if they sort of, you know, came back for the odd gig, uh, yeah, I don't care that they said they're quitting. <laughs> don't give, don't give a fuck. All, <laughs> but um, yeah, I think I think it made that last sort of tour, knowing it's the end, um, a bit more special than because they released an album and it was like the best album they've released and it was like got, got the biggest like, it, like ev most people were talking about that than any of their other albums and and just as it was, re was released so like this is the last one <laughs> so like the whole like two year tour cycle was like well that's yeah that's that's the end yeah, yeah. <laughs> so they're all doing different things now which uh, you haven't gone what other bands are they um in now so the ones so the guitarist is now in um, Suicidal Tendencies, who I've also loved for a long time, um, since the old Pantera video days. Uh, and the singer is in a band called The Black Queen okay. and Killer Be Killed. Um, the <laughs> bassist is in a band called Azusa, which is really good. They're all really good bands. Um, the drummer is in Thought Crimes, and yeah, but, um, out, out of that, uh, there's like, you know, there's like 20 great yeah, yeah. bands. <laughs> so, you know, it's not, but um, very different genres. Black, the, the singer has like completely done, gone from like being the craziest <laughs> shouter, screamer, singer um, in the history of music to doing like basically synth pop. <laughs> it's great. That's a, that's a, that's <laughs> a bit of a mix, dude. <laughs> yeah. But um, no, it's all, it's all brilliant. Um, am I meant to ask you questions? No, you don't have to no. ask me questions. No. But no, were you saying the whole thing about them saying final show? One of my favourite bands, Alexis on Fire, they did the yeah. exact same thing of saying this is our final show at Brixton Academy probably about eight years ago. Yeah. And then two years later, we're like, now we're back together now. <laughs> and started doing tours again. And now releasing a new album this year. How did you feel about it? Did you I go was to like, I was, yeah, I went to the final <laughs> one. I was like, they've made this all really emotional. Yeah, it's like meant yeah, to be, yeah. oh, this is the final show. Go yeah. to this. And then they came back. I remember... Paying probably about like fifteen pound for a ticket at that. Oh, what the final one? Yeah, yeah. And then all of a sudden they come back and they're like, "Do you want to come and see us? It's fifty pound for a ticket." Now. I'm like, no, I'm like, I might have liked you, but um, oh, it could have been a could have been a whole thing. Yeah, didn't think of that. Could be marketing. Yeah, because we had one of the one of the, the the bassist went into being the band Gallows. Oh, okay. And yeah. he was the vocalist for that for them for a while. Right. Because uh, I think Frank no. Carter left and they got him. And they started playing shows in London, but it was weird because it was a British band, but now with American vocalist. Is he still in the gallows? No, they, no, I don't think... They've got an American maybe, vocalist Maybe still. he is. Yeah. Maybe he is still in it. But I, I was in, um, I think it was New York in uh, about 2012, and they were playing playing there. Right, yeah. And it was it was odd, because there had been a power cut in New York. Hardly anyone turned up to the show, oh, and there's 10 people watching. Yeah. Were there, was there power? Was it just an acoustic gallows? No, show? luckily they got power back in that part of the city, but because the subway yeah. came down, they just came along and played, but there was only 10 people there. I think I think bands, like, bands are all doing it now, aren't they? The, and, like, Black Sabbath did the end, but they, they should, yeah, they should have ended yeah, a bit sooner. Yeah, they should yeah, they shouldn't uh, still be. <laughs> Slayer should are ending, they're doing their last shows. Um, probably other bands. Spice Girls have came back. <laughs> <laughs> but with a member missing. Oh yeah, yeah. They, so there's Westlife. They, they, they haven't got the take. Oh, no, the take, best member. Take, take that. I've been back for a back for a while without a member. <laughs> I swear Slipknot disappeared for. I think they they they. Good thing with Slipknot is you don't know if any members have changed. Yeah. <laughs> you just just, just get in the suit. <laughs> just pretend you're the same person. <laughs> what do you feel feel about the coffee? One out of five. What yeah. Would you, what would you? What rating would you give it? I, uh, it's it's a tough. Is one. that how we're ending this? Are we rating the <laughs> rating the coffee? It says like because they're so into it. They're, so it's almond almond milk, is it? Yeah, but I don't understand why these companies ever put. When would there ever be wheat or gluten in a in a coffee? 
Yeah, I when, guess when do, you just, that, when do you add that into a coffee? They're just trying to like be like, hey guys, look at us. We're very progressive. We don't have, we haven't put sulfur in our coffee. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's co coffee sixty percent. Uh, yeah, it's not. No, it doesn't. It tastes more like chop, like cocoa's does, in. Even though the cocoa, cocoa powder doesn't, doesn't say how much there is. Um, so they do it in order. <laughs> they do the ingredients in order, and the almond nut. Is two percent, so there's less than two percent. It's cocoa powder, oh. yet it still tastes nothing but cocoa powder. I'm gonna have to try and get one that <laughs> last last three times. I think I've got ones that people have not not liked. I do prefer the cold coffees, not like a frappuccino, but like um, like the you know the Starbucks double espresso. Yeah, yeah. like yeah, that that. I can breakfast that. I was trying day. to get. I was trying to get another one that was in a can. Cans was, are good, but it was just black coffee. But uh, I didn't yeah. know if that was going to be. Yeah. Be that good. Probably. Probably. There's a whole yeah. shelf for them. Could've, but this was the one that stood out. Could have gone in less than. Or there was one. one that was in a in just in a glass bottle. Just, just no. Yeah, it looked like a. Like, no info. No, it was just yeah. <laughs> this was a little label on the front. Just said cold brew coffee, and that was. I mean, you are in. That uh, was it. Hipsterville. Yeah. yeah. So. It was, uh, was it a Whole Foods? No, it was. It was a shop that wants to be a Whole Foods. Oh, okay, Harvest. So you got it. In... <laughs> you got it in one, yeah. Yeah, I, li I live opposite a Harvest, pretty much. <laughs> like, oh, I can't, can't, I can't be bothered to walk to Whole Foods. There's a Harvest. So, <laughs> don't go in either. <laughs> Not really a big coffee guy. Oh, should I? No, no, I'll, no, let, no. I'll let the one oh. person drink beer on another episode, so I should have said you can. No, <laughs> oh, I could have bought an uh, espresso stout. Is that a th okay? Yeah, that's the thing. Like, um, how is that? Very much into beer. It's, it depends where you who made it. Like, um, Beaver Town from Tottenham Hale, <laughs> they do this one called uh, Espresso, and it's it's just very coffee, but like. It's like ten percent alcohol. And it tastes like the best coffee you've ever had. <laughs> that's yeah, that's surprising for a drink that isn't really meant to be a coffee. Yeah, <clears throat> and they make it with like really good coffee, and they're just it's really strong. So it, like gets you, yeah, you, takes the edge off in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but you just wake up. Have that's a... what the that's what the espresso um, <laughs> beers are for, right? In the morning, you have that. <laughs> <laughs> got to work it out. You got dessert beers for no later. <laughs> but yeah, you got you got to have a beer for all, all things. You can't just you can't wake up and have a lager. That's insane. <laughs> you'd you'd you be the cough. Got to be like it's coffee. It's all right to do this. <laughs> you put in a home. <laughs> There's a problem with this man. He's waking up and having a red stripe. <laughs> but if you wake up and have a ten percent coffee, like espresso beer, like stout. Yeah, you're, you're doing it right. One question I forgot to open with. Right. Uh, <clears throat> this terrible joke. I was going to say, what's it like being on Doctor Who? Okay. Um, but I mean, how many times have you heard that? <laughs> I, <laughs> I, I'd say too many, but um, <laughs> does it get annoying? I mean, it's it doesn't. It's not that it gets annoying. It started <laughs> started an, annoying. <laughs> but it's. I guess it's a. It, it's. You have the same name as somebody, and it's obvious <laughs> that they they're going to know that, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, before before Matt Smith, Doctor Who joined Doctor Who, I didn't know anything about Doctor Who, so um, I was getting a lot of messages about Doctor Who. I was like, no idea what you're talking about, and then it was like, oh, you're in Doctor Who. I was like, well, is there some fat guy with a beard? Is Thor in it? Is <laughs> Endgame Thor in Doctor Who? And um, <laughs> so it was confusing at first, and then then I worked out what was going on. And um, but straight, oddly enough, like I was, I was getting introduced as like, oh, next up is uh, Doctor Who, Doctor Who. Um, I think the first time I met Gary Knightley, who's in Shitstorm, he introduced me with a shit Doctor Who joke um, that I didn't understand because I didn't know anything about Doctor Who. <laughs> so I swear I was at Wongi before where someone said oh we got Matt Smith on next but it's not that Matt Smith that you're think, thinking of yeah but they were probably thinking it was going to be me so then they were more confused <laughs> so what it's not <laughs> it's not the comedian Matt Smith Who is, who's it going to be <laughs> but um, when Peter Capaldi became Doctor Who I was still getting it 
uh, a lot. I was probably getting it more after he left. And then um, people would be like, oh, ooh, Doctor Who going up. And I'd go up and be like, I am Peter Capaldi. <laughs> so I started doing it. If any, anyone does it now, I just, I just have to keep changing my stage name. I'm Jodie Whittaker. <laughs> now. <laughs> so um, have, you ever, have you met Matt Smith? I haven't met Matt Smith. Um, he was in a, he was a gig that I was at once. He wasn't in the audience. Comedy just, gig. Just yeah, he was just out. downstairs in the pub. People were getting pictures with him. He just went to have a drink, but people yeah. just started getting pictures with him. Yeah, it's, it's, well, it's better not being that Matt Smith. <laughs> <laughs> I, um, yeah, he was in Terminator. What one was he? Uh, was he in? Was it Genesis? Was he in Genesis? Or Salva Genesis or Salvation? Oh, maybe I don't he was like the bad guy in the Terminator. I think he turned into the wind or something. <laughs> I, mean, was... I saw him in the film Lost River. I saw that. No, no, he, played a, he, he played a bully in that and it was really weird to see him go from Doctor Who to a guy with a shaved head. Oh, was it after trying... Doctor Who? Yeah, and it was no. him going around with a megaphone in like, this apocalyptic town trying to fight people. <laughs> with a <the> megaphone? That's... <laughs> That's way to get into a fight. <laughs> Seen those guys up by Seven Sisters Station with the megaphones. <laughs> God, he's brilliant! Yeah, so they're, in, they're always in Dalston as well. There's the one woman with the mm. megaphone in Dalston. Yeah, I love, love megaphone people. Yeah, they, they, you know, they, they really, really want to tell you something. <laughs> got, their voices aren't loud enough. So they have to get the... <laughs> I think it's better with the ones where they... They don't put, have. They have the thing instead. They have the megaphone, but they Lazy have the thing to yeah, just the yeah. little hand thing. But yeah, that's. I, I prefer a megaphone to a PA system. If you're going to be shouting. Oh, that's the there's, street. A, there's a guy at Stratford that has the whole PA system. Yeah, yeah. Stands on a little stage as well. Microphone. Got it in a stand. Not into those guys. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's too much. That's too much prep. At least it's, it's got a thousand watt speaker, so you're trying to walk past <laughs> and you can't ignore. <laughs> I think I think it's easier to ignore those people because you know they they're not going to get off their plinth, are they? They're gonna, the megaphone, for people, they can chase you down, chase you down the street with the megaphone. Just, yeah. yeah, which um, I, that would be. I'd like to see that a lot more. We had, uh, <laughs> we've got some in the state notes, and they gave me a book the other day. Of the uh, and the megaphone. Knock, knock, no, there was some other religious people knocked on the front door. They went, "Here's a book. God bless." I tried to open back up the front really door. Didn't, yeah, right. I tried to back, open up back up the front door to take the book out, back out, and put it back on the path for them to take. As soon as I opened the front door, they all turned and started trying to walk back towards the front door. So they had to close the front door again. <laughs> and then they started with, with Brexit happening. They've tried to uh, give out flyers to make it look like it's got the European flag on it, and it looks like they're giving out political flyers. And you get it, and it's all about oh, religion. Yeah, yeah. So some guy gave it back to me the other day. Said I thought this was about politics, but it's about the Bible. And gave it back to. Gave <laughs> they were back making up their own religions as well. They just like spreading religion thin. It's like, there's, there's more than there's, no. We're the right ones. We got it's a big cat and it's got a human hand, but then a a cat hand as well. <laughs> but it's, it can't clap properly. But um, you know, it's how you it's how you pray. You have to find a cat. I think I might. I'll follow that religion. Uh, this is my religion. I've got a pamphlet that's got a, it's got an English flag on it. <laughs> what would you rate it out of five? Uh, the Califia cold brew coffee with almond dairy free um, is is not a good drink. <laughs> I've had um, yeah. If I bought this, um, I. I'd be very disappointed in myself if I picked it. Uh, luckily, I didn't. Someone yeah, else did. I shouldn't have, shouldn't um, have picked it. No, I, you know, you can't just get good things all the time. Can you, I think you got, you got to you got to have the bad things to appreciate the good things. So. I invite, I invite you on here. I might hear some coffee and then it's bad coffee. <laughs> but I tell you what, like, glad it wasn't hot. That's uh, bonus points. <laughs> but that's nothing to do with. I'm going to give this a 0.5. 0.0. 0 out of all. ten. <laughs> out of ten, you went. <laughs> Out of 10 coca beans, 0.5 coca beans out of 10 coca beans. So there you go. If you want one of these, you are insane. So I'm write, what, how, how would I end this? Would you like to recommend something? Watch, listen to, read? Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, definitely, definitely. Um, I'm trying to think of something now. Uh, <laughs> definitely watch and read something. Um, uh, yeah. What? What am I? I've been reading um, 
the Anthony Bourdain uh, first book. That's very good. Um, if, if you like cooking, drugs, uh, or like just men, <laughs> um, just read that book. It, if you like Anthony Bourdain, um, read it. If you don't, read it. This is a good book. I'm reading it at the minute. Um, I will finish it. Uh, but movies, last movie I saw that was good, worth watching. Um, I saw the Mel Gibson one with Vince Vaughn. That was good. Oh, what the? Dragged across yeah, dragged concrete. 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 I like the director that I still haven't seen. Yeah. That was a nice movie. And TV. TV. Um, Killing Eve. Watch. <laughs> watch Killing Eve. I still need to watch. Yeah. So they're, they're my three things. <laughs> Three three recommendations. Well. Yeah, yeah, and listen to the new Slipknot song. I still I, that's why I still listen to as well. I like yeah. I listen to the last new song they released. But... Maybe may, who knows what members are left? Be <laughs> <laughs> why it's so good because it's got a whole new new group. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Well, that's, that's that's your recommendations. Yeah, so I think go so. and check those out. Uh, thank you very much for being on this. Uh, thanks for uh, do we shake hands? Uh, we can, yeah, we can shake. Thanks for having me on. Thanks. 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 That's the that's the coffee vlog, everyone, with Matt Smith and this coffee. <laughs>